I finally arrived in Delta del Ebre. And those here are the rice fields. Very beautiful indeed. So light green. They are very beautiful. And now I will show you something. Here are the plants. As you can see, they are completely, I mean, the roots are com completely emerged into the water. This is uh, one of the little streams that come out of the rice field. And this is what I wanted to show you. There are thousands of thousands of snails. I've never seen so many in my lifetime. There are thousands of them. Of, of every size, but also very big. They are water snails, I guess. Hundreds of thousands of names that grow to the size of a golf ball are not only taking over and eating the Ebro Delta rice fields, but also threaten to destroy the Delta wall ecosystem. This is the apple snail. They were previously known only in countries of South America and Asia. This snail is one of the many invasive species located here in the final stretch of the Ebro River. And many fear the risk that Delta will become the gathaway for invasive foreign species of this kind in whole Europe. I don't know why they are, they all come here. I guess maybe because the water coming from the rice field is particularly nutritious. And so they come here in, in unending number. And they make, they eat they were introduced to Asia from South America in the 80s as potential food for people, but it unfortunately became a major pest of rice. The golden apple snails eat young and emerging rice plants. They cut the rice stem at the base, destroying the whole plant. Once the rice plant reaches 30 or 40 days, it will become thick enough to resist the snail. The snails are able to spread through irrigation canals and water distribution pathways. When water is absent, apple snails are able to bury themselves in the mud and hibernate for up to six months. When water is reapplied to fields, snails emerge again. One single snail is able to completely destroy one square meter of field overnight. Possible remedies can be mass snails and eggs collection campaigns and to encourage natural predators. For example, red ants feed on the snail eggs, while ducks and several other wild bird species and rats eat young snails. Snails can also be harvested, cooked, 
and eaten or sold as animal feed. A very crucial point is to manage water properly. Construct snail canals or canalets. Pull a sack containing a heavy object around the edges of rice paddies. Canalets facilitate drainage and act as focal points for snails, making manual collection or killing easier.